Hi everyone, my name is Parul. Welcome to my channel Parul English Lab. In this video, I'm going to explain some interesting yet confusing words that are used a lot. Still, new English learners, they make a lot of mistakes while using these words. So today, I will tell you the correct usage of ever, never, forever, forever and ever. After watching this video, you will not have any confusion with these words. So let's start our today's video. First, let's understand ever and never. Ever means at any time in present, past and future and never means at no time in present, past and future. Now let's understand this with some examples. Have you ever been to London? So here we are talking about the past. In the past, at any time, have you been to London? No. I have never been to London. At no time in the past, I have been to London. Okay. Next is, does she ever call you? In present, at any time in present, does she call you? Here we are talking about the present. No, she never calls me. So this is simple present, that's why calls me. Will he ever apologize to her? Now here we are talking about the future. At any time in the future, will he apologize to her? No, he will never apologize to her. So here, at no time in future, he will apologize to her. Okay. Next is, if you ever need my help, I am always there for you. So here we are talking about the future. In the future, if you ever need my help at any time in future, if you need my help, I am always there for you. I have never seen such an amazing place. So this way we use never when we talk about at no time in the past. Okay. I have never seen such an amazing place till now in my past at no time in the past. You can frame these kind of sentences like I have never met such an amazing person. I've never seen such a beautiful movie. I have never seen such a stupid movie. So this way you can frame the sentences using never. Now sometimes we use hardly ever this phrase hardly ever. So this means almost never. It's not never never means at no time. But hardly ever means maybe once or twice, but almost never. Max is hardly ever late. So he always comes on time. He is hardly ever late. If he is never, when you say he is never late, that means at no time. But when you use hardly ever phrase, that means maybe once or twice he was late in the past, but generally he is on time. So he is hardly ever late. We hardly ever go out. We generally don't go out. We hardly ever go out. Next is ever since. The phrase ever since. Now ever since means throughout that period. We have been friends ever since we met at school. So when we met at school from that period till now we have been friends. So throughout that period. Here you can frame a sentence without ever as well. We have been friends since we met at school. So this also has more or less same meaning but if you want to add emphasis in a sentence then you can add ever. Okay. We have not met him ever since he went to New York. So throughout that period when we went to New York and till now we have not met. Okay, so we haven't met him ever since he went to New York. Next is as ever he gave an excellent presentation. So here sometimes ever is used in place of always because it has a similar meaning to always. Okay, so this way you can use it as always he gave an excellent presentation. Uh, presentation or as ever he gave an excellent presentation because he is good at it and he always gives a good presentation so as always as ever 
As ever, you forgot to wish me on my birthday. As always, you always forget my birthday. And this year also, as always, you forgot to wish me on my birthday. As ever, you forgot to wish me on my birthday. Okay, so this way sometimes we use ever in place of always. Okay, now we use this phrase never ever. So again, this means at no time, but just to add emphasis in a sentence, we use never ever. I can never forgive him. Okay, and I can never ever forgive him. The meaning is almost same. It's just that you add more emphasis on it. I can never ever forgive him. She can never ever steal the money. How can you say that he has done it? She can never do that. She can never ever steal the money. Okay, so this way we use never and ever. But there are some more places where we use ever. So let's take a look at it. Next, we use ever with comparatives. We know what are comparatives and superlatives. We have done it. I will mention the link in description box if you have not watched the video of comparative and superlative form of adjectives. For example, good, better, best. So better is comparative where we compare when there is a comparison and superlative is best, the best, the tallest building in the town. So that is superlative, pretty, prettier, prettiest smart smarter smartest so smartest is the superlative form of adjective and smarter is comparative we use ever with comparatives how let's go through some examples she is singing better than ever so what she has been singing till now she is singing better than that so there is a comparison uh, between the past and the present okay so that's why we have used comparative over here she is singing better than ever Tia looks prettier than ever. This is worse than ever. So this way, when you compare the past with the present, then you can use comparative and you can use any comparative over here. Taller, smarter, prettier, more interesting like this. Okay, whenever you compare. Now next is superlative. So we use ever after superlative also like this is the tallest building i have ever seen so before this i have never seen such a tall building in my life so till now this is the tallest building i have ever seen this is the best movie they have ever made whatever movies they have made till now this is the best movie they have ever made he is the most handsome person I have ever met. So this way you can use ever after superlative just to add emphasis on the degree of something that is true. Okay. Uh, you can use any superlative over here. Like he is the most handsome person I have ever met or he is the most irritating person I have ever met. This is the worst movie I have ever watched. So positive or negative this way you can use any comparative or superlative with ever next we use ever to add emphasis to a sentence like that was my first ever stage performance you can also say that was my first stage performance but to add emphasis on it you have to use ever that was my first ever stage performance now you can frame this sentence in this way as well that was my first stage performance ever. So ever can come here or at the end of the sentence. They both are correct. This is going to be her last ever movie. After this, she is never going to do a movie. So this is going to be her last ever movie. This is going to be her last movie ever. Okay, so just to add emphasis to a sentence, you can use ever. This way, you can frame a sentence. I have told you where we use ever and never. Now next let's move on to forever. Forever has two meanings. Number one, for all time or for a long time. For example, I love this place but I can't live here forever. I love this place. I can live here for a week, a month but not for a long time or for all the time forever. 
write fast this wait is going to take forever write fast we have to finish this work by evening the way you're doing it this way it is going to take forever it is going to take a long time forever it took me forever to find this place it took me a long time to find this place so this way we use forever when we talk about for all time or for a long time now second meaning is always frequently often okay for example she is forever late for meetings that means she is always late for meetings max is forever on the phone he doesn't have time he is always on the phone he is forever on the phone so this way always frequently often can be replaced by forever now let's see where we use forever and ever forever and ever this means for now and all the time in future like it's there in present and it will continue in future and it will never stop i'll be your friend forever and ever i'll always be your friend i can listen to this song forever and ever this is my favorite song i love it i can listen to it forever and ever he will love me forever and ever so this is what it means anything that is there and will continue in future and will never stop so that's all for today i hope you have understood the meaning of these words and phrases these are excellent words if you have not been using them till now please start to use them and don't forget to subscribe to my channel share with your friends and press the bell icon for future notifications thank you take care have a great day thank you for watching my videos if you find them helpful please like and share with your friends feel free to leave comments do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to receive a notification for the new videos thank you Take care and have a great day.